All right, so apparently there's a whole entire list of things that only Michiganders say. Being born and raised here in Michigan my whole entire life, um, a lot of this stuff comes second nature. I just thought it was normal. I thought people all over the United States and world talk like this. But of course, if you grew up in an area, you're going to think that. I remember when I was traveling, um, I thought people talked funny, you know, in the South. And they thought I talked funny too. So if you're somebody who's thinking about moving to Michigan or gonna be visiting Michigan and you wanna adapt a little bit quicker and catch up on the slang or at least know what the heck we're talking about, then stay tuned for this list because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you guys wanna know everything there is to know about living in Brighton, Michigan, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Brighton. My name is Eric Meldrum and my team and I make videos just like this on what it's like to live in Brighton, Michigan and all the surrounding areas. So if you're somebody thinking about making that move to Brighton or any of the surrounding areas, go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. It doesn't matter if it's one month or one year from now. We wanna help you do just that. So all my contact information is in the description below. You can schedule a Zoom call with me or somebody from my team and as always, we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move here to Michigan. All right, so reviewing this list, I had to crack up at a lot of these because there's actually a few on this list that I didn't even know about and I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing them. That's another separate video that we're gonna do is a lot of the pronunciations here in Michigan, especially the Detroit area. Um, there's a lot of French language, you know, a lot of Detroit-ish, you know, we call it Detroit-ish. I think that's a, that's a word. We're gonna make that up and we're gonna put that in the dictionary as Detroit-ish. But there was a lot of French inspired streets um, and names in Detroit when it first started. So um, a lot of this stuff stems way back when, but I had to look at all this list a couple times and do some double takes and like, people really say that? So without further ado guys, let's get right into it. So if you're moving here to Michigan, you gotta keep up with some of the slang, at least know exactly what we're talking about when somebody references the mitten, right? This is the first one, guys. If you're moving to Michigan, this is how we get around. Okay, so we live right here. Okay, Detroit is right here. Up north is here. If you're getting into the UP, you kind of do like this thing where you bring in your other hand and you're, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm in the UP. It's it's kind of weird because you got to use two hands and you can't point to where you're going. But anyways, that's how you get around here in Michigan, Traverse City, over here, Petoskey. You know, that's that's the way we get around, guys. You don't need a map. You don't need you don't need your phone. You just tell people, like, go this way, and it works out. So if you're gonna be getting directions, definitely need to know this is how you reference where you're from and where you're going. All right, so if you're gonna be traveling in Northern Michigan and you're gonna be going to the UP, you gotta know that the Mackinac Bridge is referred to as the bridge. It is the bridge, like the only bridge here in Michigan. Now, we have a ton of other bridges, but when somebody references the bridge, they are specifically talking about the Mackinac Bridge, which connects the Upper Peninsula and the Lower Peninsula, this little mitten here that keeps your hand warm. Um, they're connected by the bridge. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mackinac Bridge, definitely go check it out, at least drive across it. On a windy, windy day, it sways a little bit, it can get a little scary. Um, there's grates, there's a lane that has like these grates. So if you look down outside of the window, it can get a little bit scary. So it's experience going over the bridge. Nonetheless, definitely check it out. So it's super natural to ask friends and family, where should I visit? What are some of the sites that I should see here in Michigan? Where's a good vacation spot? And if somebody tells you to go check out the cherry capital of Michigan, they are telling you to go check out Traverse City, Michigan. Now, it's called cherry capital for a reason. There's tons of cherry orchards up there and you better believe there is cherry covered everything cherry flavored ice cream, cherry flavored wine, um, chocolate covered cherries. I mean, the list goes on. Anything you can do with cherries, they have a cherry festival in Traverse City. It's actually really fun, you should go check it out. Um, they got stuff for kids, they got stuff for adults, bands, all that stuff, you know, face painting, the works, anything you would expect from a, a cool festival in a downtown area, you're gonna find it, uh, the Cherry Festival. But if somebody's telling you to go check out the cherry capital of Michigan, they are telling you to go see Traverse City, Michigan. This next one's like second nature for me. This is a most common one that I would say uh, growing up, if we were going up north and we were going to, it doesn't matter where you were going, quite frankly, um, if you were just going up north anywhere, you told your friends that you're going to the cottage. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a cottage. Like I I would look at a cottage as a kind of a log cabin or you know somewhere in kind of remote in the woods. There was lake houses, like immaculate, 
million dollar lake houses that people are like, yeah, we're going to our cottage, no big deal. Just this little like, you know, slice of heaven up there. It's our cottage, it's very quaint. And you get there and it's like massive, like 4,000 square feet overlooking Torch Lake. And it's got, everything's updated in it. I mean, the whole place is just like beautiful. But the cottage is something where you tell your friends and family, like you're going up north and that's the whole definition of it. You're just going north, you're going to the cottage, you're going to get away from the city. So I love that one. Growing up, I used to say the cottage all the time when we would go up north. It didn't matter where you're going at all. All right, this next one, I absolutely hate when people say this. Like this is one on the list that I, oh, it just like makes my, oh, my ears burn and like my skin crawl when I hear somebody call it this because this is not something I, I grew up with. But people here in Michigan call a remote the clicker, the clicker. Guys, please don't call it the clicker. It's a remote. I mean, we've had remotes for forever. It is not a clicker, but I think it's got its name from the old, like when you had the old remotes and you press the button, it went click, click, <laughs> click. So I don't know how this, this came about, but people here in Michigan, um, yeah, they call it the clicker. So when you come here, if somebody tells you to pass a remote and they say, pass the clicker, don't pass them like, some keychain with a clicker on it, pass them the actual remote. All right, this next one I say all the time, especially in the line of business I'm in when I'm showing clients homes and we are talking about some of the features of the homes. There is a wall that is actually glass in the home that opens. You might already know what I'm talking about. Here in Michigan, we call that a door wall. Some other places call it a sliding glass door. I don't know what's right or wrong. I'm sure the manufacturers, I think I looked it up a year ago. I'm gonna look it up now but manufacturers call it a sliding glass door. But it's this thing that's in the wall, it's a door in a wall and it slides open. So it makes sense. It's like, a, it's a door wall guys. Can't get much simpler than that. It's a door wall, it acts as a wall. When it's shut, that's it. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's a door wall. All right, this next one confuses the heck out of a lot of people. Now, if you're used to driving in some of the Southern states, you can make U-turns and go basically the opposite direction on the highway or the road that you're on. Here in Michigan, if you wanna go left, you actually have to go right and then go to a, a crossover in the median that's called a, it's called a Michigan left. So you have to go right and then go through a median and then go back that way to make your left. So it confuses the heck out of a lot of people when they get to an intersection, they're like, well, I just wanna go left. Well, can't do it. You gotta go right and then you gotta go left to go the other way. So confuses the heck out of a lot of people, but if you're gonna be driving here in Michigan, get used to the Michigan left. I'm used to it now. It doesn't even phase me. I know exactly how to do it. And it's easy peasy, guys. So I'm cracking up reading this list. My cheeks are absolutely hurting, but I would love to hear some of the things that are only unique to where you live. Some of the words that you guys say that nobody else says anywhere you go. Drop those in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. All right, so confession time, guys. I have been saying this word for probably my whole entire life, and I didn't even know I was saying it until I saw it on this list. And this is just part of speech, like you shorten words or you abbreviate them, kind of where you're from. This is one of those words that I have been saying for so long, too long, now I'm gonna know I'm saying it all the time. Um, it's gonna drive me crazy, but the word is OPE. O-P-E, OPE. It's short, abbreviated for like, oops, um, could be abbreviated for like, I'm sorry, or oops, I'm sorry. When you bump into somebody, you're like, oh, oh, you know, just kind of, oh, you don't say sorry. You don't say like anything. It's just, oh, you're like you said something. The person's like, oh, he said something. He must, he must be sorry, right? It, it's the weirdest thing. Like we just took off, oops, oops, I'm sorry, and just made, oh. So welcome to Michigan where we have the laziest apology ever. It's just, oh. All right, so let's head back north for a couple of fun ones. Now, if you're gonna be visiting Mackinac Island, which we did a whole entire vacation tour, my sister got married on that, so if you wanna check out Mackinac Island, go definitely check that out, um, it's a fun video. But if you're gonna be visiting the island as a tourist, just know that the locals, they're talking about you and they're calling you fudgies. That's people that are coming over to Mackinac Island to literally go visit the island, but main part of it is it's like you're going there for the great fudge you're gonna go buy fudge eat it and then go home so aka you're a fudgy people in the upper peninsula also have a name for us people in the lower peninsula and this is one i really don't even get 
to be honest with you. People from the Upper Peninsula call us Flatlanders. Now, of course, I've never been face to face having like coarse words with somebody from the Upper Peninsula. You can just imagine like you're starting to get into a little bit of an altercation and you know, you're about to stand off and then the guy from the UP is like, listen here, you little son of a Flatlander. Like, I think that would take me back in my, <laughs> in my stance and I'm like, I'm gonna back down from that fight. Like, I'm not, I'm not messing with somebody that's gonna call me a Flatlander. Just sorry, I'm just not. All right, I gotta admit, Flatlanders is an absolutely terrifying name. Like, getting called out in a, in a fist altercation as a Flatlander, like, yeah, I'm backing down. But you know what? People from the UP, they are called Youpers. So if you hear somebody calling that guy over there a Youper, just know he's not some weirdo, he's from the UP, which, they have their own set of words anyways, so kind of weird. All right, so as you guys can see, Michiganders say some pretty wonky things. We're gonna go into a little bit of speed round. These are words that we frankly just like, we combine. I don't know why we did it or why we pronounce it this way. Um, I'm looking at the list and I'm like, yep, I say that, I say that too, and I say that one. Um, but we're gonna go through this list really quickly. I'll explain what each one of them means, but these are Michigan pronounced words that have combined two or three words together to make one weird, simple word. So first up is the word didja, D-I-D-J-A. And it's short for did you. And you can use it in a sentence like, hey, did you get milk from the store? Did you fill up your car with gas? Uh, did you get the, the pop that I wanted? Did you? We well, are just too lazy to say, did you? Did you? All right, this next one, I'm cracking up reading these guys, um, jeet. J-E-E-T, and it's short for did you eat? <laughs> I say this all the time. Um, jeet, jeet dinner, jeet dinner. <laughs> I, I'm, try, I'm trying to say it and I'm actually saying it, but I'm trying not to say it if that makes any sense. Um, jeet dinner, and it's did you eat dinner? All right, so next up on the list is look it. L-O-O-K-I-T, and you just mash it all together. Instead of saying, check this out, or look at this, you just grab somebody's attention by saying, look it, look it, look it. And that's supposed to be enough for them to know that you're saying, look at this, or check this out. All right, next up on the list is Secretary State, and it's secretary. I'll spell it out, S-E-C-R-E-T-A-R-I-A-H, state. Secretary State. That's a misspelling. We just don't want to pronounce it secretary. So we say secretary. Secretary. <laughs> it's just a run on like secretary. So if you're looking for the Secretary State, you know what I'm talking about. Here's another one. You guys. Instead of saying y'all, you guys, we just say you guys. Hey, you guys. What are you doing today? Hey, you guys. What's going on? Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. All right, here's one that I absolutely do. And when referring to any sort of grocery store here in Michigan, um, Kroger, Meyer, Walmart, Michiganders love to add an S on everything. So we say, did you go to Kroger's? Did you go to Walmart's? Did you go to Meyer's? None of these are spelled with an S. Absolutely none of them are spelled with an S. But Michiganders just love putting an S on stuff. All right, this last one on the list for the quick hitters. My cheeks are hurting because I'm smiling, laughing, reading these. Um, and I think this is really fitting. It is, I don't think this is just a Michigan thing either. Um, it's Realtor. Now, here in Michigan, people just say Realtor. Realtor. I say it all the time. I mispronounce it. NAR hates me. NAR hates all of us that say Realtor. It's Realtor. Two syllables. That's plain and simple. Pretty easy. But if you're looking for a Realtor here in Michigan, I'm your guy. All right, so that wraps up all the weird things and funny things that Michiganders say here in Michigan. We got Youpers up in the UP. We got Flatlanders down here in the Lower Peninsula. Um, we got people saying Digia, Jeet, um, Secretary State. And finally, if you guys are moving to Michigan and you're looking for an awesome realtor, I am right here. Whether you're moving in one month or one year from now, don't hesitate to give us a call easy to get a hold of us. All my contact information is in the description below. Schedule a Zoom call with me or one of my teammates, and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move here to Michigan. All right, guys, until next time, we'll catch you on the next one and go enjoy all these other videos that we have out here and here. And I think they're awesome because I made them. So until next time, we'll see ya. Peace.